Hello friends, today I am going to show how to prepare fish curry or pulusu or fish stew. Add ingredients for fish curry or fish stew. Fresh fish, cut it into small pieces this size and clean it properly. Tamarind puree, I have taken half lemon sized tamarind and soaked it in warm water. Half tablespoon garam masala. 1 tablespoon chili powder, half tablespoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon coriander powder, half tablespoon cumin powder. Here I have taken few whole spices. In that, 2 cloves, 2 cardamom, 1 cinnamon stick and shai jeera. 3 finely chopped tomatoes, fresh coconut paste, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 3 medium size onions finely chopped, 4 green chilies, 3 tablespoons of oil, 1 teaspoon of dry fenugreek seed powder, 2 red chilies, this is optional to give some extra spiciness, some finely chopped coriander leaves, if you have mint you can add, some water and salt to taste. Let's start the preparation. Take a wide pan and do not take non-stick pan. Once the pan is hot, I am adding oil to it, about 3 tablespoons. Once the oil is hot, add the whole spices to it. Once the spices are nicely roasted in the oil, we will add onions. Saute the onions until they are translucent. Once the onions become soft, add turmeric powder to it. We also add the garlic paste. Mix well until the garlic paste leaves soft milk. Add one tamarind pan to it because it leaves nice roasted flavor and also tomatoes to it. Mix it well. If you want you can remove the tomato pan after some time. Once the tomatoes become soft, add chili powder to it, red powder to it and cumin powder. Give it quick stir. Add about a half tablespoon of salt. Once the dry masala is cooked properly, now add this fresh coconut paste. Cook for about 3 to 4 minutes and then add tamarind puree into it. Here add some water, about half glass of water. Give a good stir. And also add to garam masala. It is about half tablespoon. If you want, imagine remaining half glass of water as well now. So now, in a medium flame, we'll cook for about eight minutes. After about four minutes, add dry fenugreek seed powder into it. Add about two dry red chilies. Now, after eight minutes, it gives some extra spiciness before adding fish into it. It's time to add fish. Today I have taken salmon fish. You can take any fish of your choice. It's totally up to you. And I have cut into small pieces. So I am now adding it into the gravy. Make sure the flame is high. And all add entire pieces into it. If you want more gravy consistency, you can always add some water into it. Before adding pieces, you can just check for the seasoning, salt. Give a quick mix, mix properly in the beginning only before the fish cooks, uh, once the fish starts cooking you can't mix it because it will break. So this is the only one time you will mix it. We will close the lid and cook it for about 5 to 8 minutes on a high flame. Open the lid after 8 minutes and now you can turn off the flame and uh, add some coriander and mint leaves on top of it. Now the fish curry or fish stew is ready to serve and I have garnished it with some coriander leaves. Have this fish curry after one hour with along with some rice or roti. It tastes really good. So friends, please try this recipe. It is very simple recipe to cook fish. Though there are many other variations to cook fish curry. This is the easiest among them. 
Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe for more wonderful recipes.